Seeing, yeah, uh, check it, yeah. Look, heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavy. You know the person that I think a lot about in the dark side is Kobe Bryant. I was going to talk to him about it if, when I, if, if I could have, um, because he confessed this. He had a lot of dark energy. He had a lot of anger, and he was so competitive. He wanted to crush you on the basketball court, and he spoke of it in those terms. It wasn't like a friendly little basketball game. This was war. But like Michael Jordan, he tra he transmuted, he channeled this energy into being a good teammate and to just defeating the other team, working as a good player, a colleague with his other with his teammates. But he learned to channel it. Early on, it kind of destroyed him a little bit. Mm -hmm. It kind of ruined his relationship with Shaq in a way. But then he learned that that dark and that anger, etc., was the source of his power. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sand Take, man. My name is Jay Sand, coming back with another one, man. And I wanted y'all to see that clip from Robert Green real quick, man. I've been on a, a Robert Green kick, man, because listen, he always dropping gems, he always dropping diamonds, and uh, you know, he always giving you something to think about from a different angle. And in that clip, he gave you a different angle of uh, Kobe's situation. You know what I'm saying? And he hit valid points that we can relate to on semen retention. That's why I wanted y'all to see that. Because, like he said, Kobe had a dark energy about him. You know what I'm saying? And early on, right? You know, Kobe didn't know how to channel that dark energy. You know what I'm saying? So it was spilling out in his job, which is basketball, it was spilling out in his relationships. You know what I'm saying? With his in his with, with his teammates, even probably in his relationship at home. You know what I'm saying? Because he was so competitive and he wanted to win. You know, he didn't just want to beat you in a friendly game, just like he said. But Kobe went to war. Kobe went to war. And what Kobe had to do is use that energy to his advantage. Just like we gotta use our life force energy to our advantage. You know what I mean? We have to transmute that energy into areas that can get us to another level of our life. You know what I'm saying? And that is what we are doing now, rather than give in to that dark energy of lust, the dark energy of sex, the dark energy of pornography. You know what I mean? The dark energy that comes with all of that. But instead, we hold in our life force energy and using that to our advantage, just like Kobe had to use that dark energy to his advantage. You know, and he was able to flip that negative and that dark to a positive and light. You know what I'm saying? So guess what? He put that light into his teammates. He put that light into his relationships, his marriage. You know what I'm saying? And he made a better teammate. He made himself a better teammate to his other colleagues. You know what I'm saying? By gaining those relationships, showing them his competitive side and challenging them to match that. So he used that dark energy instead of doing all of that yelling and destroying all of the, the all of the relationships and his teammates around him. Guess what? He used that to make them better. And that made them a better unit as a whole. And that's why he was able to continue winning championships. You know what I'm saying? Because before him and Shaq was having friction, he was having friction out there in his regular life and all that other stuff. All of that was dark energy surrounding that. So he had to learn how to channel that shit into other things. And we are doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That's why we are propelling the way we are. That's why we taking off how we are because now we better know how to use our energy. You know what I'm saying? Instead of wasting it away, instead of going deeper into the darkness of porn, deeper into the darkness of lust and women and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So we withholding our energy and putting that energy into ourselves. And it's coming out in us. It's coming out through us, bruh. You know what I'm saying? It's coming out in our looks. It's coming out through our eyes. It's coming out with how we talk. You know what I mean? It's coming out in our relationships. It's coming out with our spirituality. Look at how close we are to the most high now. Look at this spiritual awakening that's happening to us, bro. You know what I mean? Now we seeing things more clear. Our outlook has changed on life.
You know what I'm saying? All because, listen, bro, we had to channel that dark energy that we had into another way. We had to figure out some way to do it instead of succumbing to that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of feeding those addictions, instead of feeding that darkness and giving into that, listen, we switched that shit up. We switched that shit up, and now we got the attitude, we got the confidence, we got the energy. Now we feel like we could do that shit with anything. We feel like we could do that anything. We could, and it's true, we can do that with anything. We could change the tide of a whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Because now we have enlightenment. Now we see things that we didn't before. You know, and it took some changes. It took making some big changes. So don't ever downgrade what it is that you're doing. People will try to downgrade it because they don't get it. They just see somebody that's not having sex and not busting a nut and not watching porn. But they don't know that this making you close, this bringing you closer to the most high. They don't know what it's doing to you from a spiritual standpoint. They don't know what it's doing to your confidence. They don't know what it's doing to you, well, from a health standpoint. You know what I'm saying? They don't know these things. That's why I keep bringing it up. So it's pointless to even go into depth with people that don't understand because you're wasting your time and energy because you know what this journey is doing for you. And that's why you a champion. You a champion just like Kobe because Kobe had to figure out a way. You know, he didn't let his past define him. We not letting our past define us either. Yeah, we didn't been in fucked up relationships. We didn't fought addictions. We didn't we didn't been through all types of shit. We didn't been through dark areas of our life. We didn't been through some dark times. But we was able to turn that darkness to the light. Now we don't want to go away from the light. We want to stay in the light. So guess what? That involves us changing things up. That involves us confronting our problems instead of just being engulfed in that. Instead of letting our emotions just dig us into a deep hole, dig us into depression, stress, you know what I'm saying, because all those things just pull you down deeper into the darkness, and then when you giving in to all of that shit, all of these urges, that's making you more addicted to the things that you was addicted to, because now that stress and depression, all of that's starting to play a role, starting to play a part, so we have to learn how to transmute the energy that we have. Instead of just looking at it as, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling horny. I need to have sex. Oh, I feel like I need, I'm, I'm stressing. I need to go smoke something. Oh, you know, life is getting tough. I had a rough day. I need to go drink something. No, no, we taking this energy and we gonna go to the gym with that shit. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go play with our kids with that shit. We gonna stay on our purpose with that shit. We not going to the bullshit no more. We not running to no hoes. We not running to no clubs. We not running to no friends. We not running to no family. We not doing none of that shit. We gonna look in that mirror and we gonna handle our problems. We gonna control our emotions. We gonna control our desires. You know what I'm saying? We gonna fight these addictions. We going to do whatever it takes that's going to get us to the next level. Whatever it takes that's going to keep us healthy instead of taking the, the, the unhealthy alternative. The quick alternative. Trying to escape from our reality. We know we can't do that shit no more. Because that shit, every time we try to escape from our reality, when we come back down from that high, it's even worse than it was before we left. And that's what people don't understand, bro. This journey do so much more for you. Than just you just holding in your nut Like some little stuck dummy Just sitting in one spot No, this is energy that we have This is power that we have This is electricity And these motherfuckers mad that they ain't got it They ain't got what it takes to become electric like us Become champions like us To do what it takes like us They don't And that's why they gonna be left in the same spot Why they watch us take off Why they watch us move forward with our life you know, and guess what? You know what's going to make them even more mad is we ain't have to step on nobody's toes to do this. We had to look at ourselves and figure out what our issues were. So we didn't step on nobody's toes. Ain't nobody get back, dog. We didn't cheat. We didn't do no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We just used the help of God in our ill, in our, in our, in our will, the, the desire that we have to want to be better. That's all it took us. And a lot of people don't have that desire. They don't have that willpower. That's why they fold every time they have an urge. That's why they fold every time they see women. That's why they fold every time they 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 have a hard day. So they go run into the uh, to the substance. They fold. 
They fold. They can't they can't endure the type of shit that we enduring right now because we still here. We live in to tell. We live in to tell every day. We sustain. Listen, bro, we get through these battles, you know, but they going to fold every time there's some adversity. You know, we used to do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not just going to clown them. You know what I'm saying? Even though they trying to tell us what we doing ain't working, but at the same time, we was in their shoes. But what separates us is we have what it takes to get through that. We doing whatever it takes to get past that. That's why it's important that we keep going, all right? So keep going, bro. You the one that's winning. You the champion, like Kobe. You know what I mean? You the champion, like Kobe. May he rest in peace. Because Kobe is immortal no matter what. Kobe is immortal no matter what. He did everything that he needed to do while he was here. And he will always be remembered for that. So what you gonna do? What you what, what will you be remembered for? You know, it can't be how you was in the past. No, you gonna be remembered for trying to do better. You know, for changing your life. For having values now, valuing yourself. So we can't stop this work, okay? Most high, the most high, he gonna determine when our job is done here. So every day that you wake up, you see that light that I be telling you about, that mean there's more work to do. So get to it. And that's my word, man. My name, Jay Sin, the CN Take. I'll let y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get on.